Now I've got this set up on a, uh, a different type motor. This is a capacitor start motor. It's a split phase motor and it's uh, centrifugal. I was going to try this inverter with that. It's half horse. Um, according to my readings it draws about 19 amps on startup. And I'm going to fire it up with regular voltage. And you can see it's starting up okay. It's not really under load when I start it. Uh, but here's what happens when I plug it into the inverter. Okay, it's, it's overloading and shutting the inverter down. Uh, long story short, it, my peak amperage was 19 on regular power. My peak amperage on using this was about 31. And I think that's why it's kicking it off. So it's not going to start with that. One of the things I don't want to say is this thing is totally incapable of starting a load like that because the conditions aren't perfect for it. This is hooked up to an automotive starting battery, which would probably be the best for this type where there's a large draw on startup. However, if there was a bank of four, five, ten of these batteries, you may find you had different results. So, I'm, I'm not condemning this thing completely because uh, with the one battery, it didn't work. Uh, I may try it with a uh, group of batteries and we'll see what happens. Uh, probably not going to get to that right away. But as it is now, but it does not, it won't start it using just the one battery. You do have to understand, this thing is drawing one heck of a lot of power through these cables. I will try this in a vehicle with the engine running to see if that makes any difference, but uh, I kind of don't think it's going to start. That's all for this one, uh, for now anyway.